Hello everyone and welcome back to the MAD campaign for the Apache and DCS world where today we're on mission 9, Sweltering Heat. So the basic briefing of this one is that following the Mirage's shoot down at the end of the last mission, uh, things have kind of heated up quite a bit and now active combat operations are going on directly between the UAE and Iran. What we are doing here is clearing out a particular island that we are going to attack and neutralise its air defence. While at the same time multiple other attacks are coming in, Tomahawks are being launched on the island before we arrive to soften it up a little. Anti-submarine operations are going on, so everything's getting a little bit heated. So anyway, let's jump in and see how this one went. Sweltering heat starts. The beginning of a large scale war. Don't make it, my friend. Of course, I have no doubts. Alpha 1, fisherman. So now, the release is complete. Ready for stage 2. Tactical 1 1, on station at bullseye. 2 5 5. Master Armand, one, prepare weapons. Other ones. This is Alpha 1. Proceeding with missile launch at the designated targets. The objects on Siri and Abu Musa Islands are the targets. Time on target, 2 minutes, 20 seconds. I'll point it on in less than 20 seconds, Commander, and stand by. Alpha 1, fisherman, receive the coordinates of the supposed target. Copy the coordinates. The target is located. Fisherman, Drifter, control check of enemy's location. Drifter, you're clear for torpedo launch. Missile, missile, at Tactical 1-1, on station at bullseye. Roger. Control check of enemy's location. Tactical 1-1, on station at Those drifters have a trust too. The Lord will help them, they'll get distracted from the mission, mate. Missile, missile, after right. Starting auto search of the target according to the coordinates via ACQ. Try to see if the enemy has changed their position. In this case, we need to go higher. Copy. Increasing altitude. Fisherman, the sonar is Mr. tracking Mr. the torpedo. Alpha 1, Saber 32, at Bravo, ready for action. Cyber Group's task is to eliminate the targets. 3 4, attack the targets according to the briefing. So, as soon as we get the option to, I do send in my wingman to engage the targets, and then I turn in myself and start hunting. I do the first part of this from the CPG seat, mostly because it's just a case of hovering near the island while firing missiles, and so it wouldn't have been particularly entertaining as the pilot, but it's quite a lot of fun getting some practice as a CPG. So I did try this mission multiple times, so got to learn a little bit about it for this attempt. And so as I'm approaching here, what I do is flip over to the radar missiles and fire them at some air defense that is scattered around the island rather than the primary objective. 
And the real problem here is the same one that we had before. I don't think this mission was designed for you to have radar missiles. I think it was designed and built before that, but then they've added these in afterwards, just like they did on a previous mission. And I don't think they did a lot of testing, because they don't work very well here without the fire control radar, which you're not given. And so uh, the problem is that this is a really dense area that we're attacking, multiple vehicles, multiple buildings, and so the radar lock-on after launch feature it, it is useful, it does kind of work, but the problem is it will just lock onto an object, uh, not necessarily the one that you were lasing. Even when you laser it correctly, you get the range incorrect, get within range, it's still a bit of a dice roll as to what it hits. So I prefer to use these on these, I've had no luck using the radar missiles on the primary targets, but here I do lock one up, and then shortly after fire, And so this is exactly what I mean after waiting for the flight time to tick down, there's no explosion, then a few seconds later, right there on the right hand side you can see I hit a thing, but it was definitely not the thing that I was lasing. Uh, it targets random vehicles, and because this campaign does have civilian traffic on, there are a lot of civilian vehicles running around here, which I believe the missiles also target. They definitely target random buildings that they can see, and there's a lot of random other vehicles loitering around, so not the best. But I do give it another try, fire off another one. And this time, I do actually get a hit. I am purposefully targeting these uh, BTRs because they are actually really dangerous. They are free to move around on this map and they move down to the near side of the island and absolutely do whack you with the tow missiles if you are hovering like we are here just to stay out of sound range. So now I've decided that I've drifted close enough that I should start uh, targeting the actual primary objectives, which is this rapier battery and a nearby Hawk command post. And so I see the radar uh, moving around here, just hidden behind this uh, vehicle here. So target it and fire. Uh, unfortunately something seems to go wrong with this one and although I'm lasing I think because I wasn't lasing as I was launching just made a mistake the laser doesn't quite get there in time and I do get a hit but a hit on the wrong thing there so I decide to give the radar ones another go that should be able to hit something in this area it's a big cluster of enemy vehicles so send off a radar missile and since the radar missiles are fire and forget, I then do get a bit nervous when I spot this uh, shilker a little bit off to the side, getting a little bit close to it for my comfort. So I decide to fire another radar missile at this one. Then zoom out to have a look around to see where these missiles are landing. And one comes down and hits a random BMP I wasn't targeting, but fair enough, at least it's something. No idea where the second missile went. As I said, they do randomly seem to go for buildings as a priority over everything else. It's just too much on this island. And so I decide, right, enough of that. I'm going to go back over to the laser rockets and have another go at this radar station. And this time... Actually got a success. That is one radar out. There is, however, a second radar in this group, so I pan over to that and fire off another one. And once again, this one comes in nicely. Launchers can be eliminated using a 50 caliber. Great idea. Now, this site does also have a optical uh, reflector here, so I decide that I need to take that out. It's just behind this vehicle, so hopefully this is going to hit. Uh, unfortunately, 
the missile comes in and hits the Land Rover in the front, I should have set the tracking mode to track the last target. Instead, it's getting a little bit on this first target, and so tracks the nearest one by default. So, a bit of a waste of a missile there. My wingman does finally wake up and actually start engaging the site as well, at last. Unfortunately, that is the only thing my wingman does in this entire mission. He now just sits in a low hover, refusing to engage anything from here on out, which is very irritating. That means his 16 missiles are going to do nothing. Either way, I slide to the side a bit to get a better angle on this optical seeker and then rifle one away. And nicely, this time with nothing in the way, it comes down and shack. Rapier, the optical tracker is destroyed. Now, my CPG in the comms there does suggest that we use guns, which would be great for clearing up the rest if it wasn't for all of the air defense around the island. So I decide I need to neaten that up a little bit. So once again, have a go at a radar missile on this shulker site here. And once again, that missile goes missing. And so I decide, right, enough is enough. I'm going to start engaging the other site, the Hawk site, which is in this little cluster of buildings here. And so I try and get a, a decent shot off at that. Again, using the radar missile, just deciding to fire my remaining radar missiles at this cluster in the hope that they do something. And this time, I get a hit on something at least. It decides to go off to the side and take out a Hilux with a gun on the back of it, but at least that's better than nothing. So, fire off another one. May as well use up these radar missiles for whatever they're worth. This one... Decides to hit a random BTR somewhere on the island, no idea where, but there's a shack, not at what it's pointed at. Two missiles left, so far off another one. As I wait for the counter to tick down, we do get a blast off to the side of the screen. Not sure if that hit a building or that dead Hilux that was hit before. Either way, it has not gone for the target. So I decide, right, I am going to go for the laser missile. I've only got two left here, but after fiddling around a bit, I get a decent enough uh, solution here, peeking over the top of the building, so fire one away. And this time I do get a direct hit. This takes out the uh, command center for the Hawk site, which I believe renders the Hawk site completely inactive. There are still things in the area that look angry with radars, so I fire off my last uh, laser maverick on one of these. Unfortunately, uh, once again, I should have used target last instead of target first, because I didn't quite see there is a little lamppost here between me and the target, and that was what was reflecting the laser light, so that is what the hellfire hit. That is me out of uh, laser hellfires at this point. Down to one more hellfire, just a radar hellfire, so I decide, well, I may as well just fire it into this cluster, see what happens. But predictably what happens is the missile goes and targets something random, I don't even see it go down. So the problem here is I'm only down to gun, but I... Uh, I'm nowhere near the range I need to be to use the gun. And as I said, there's a lot of things like BTRs that are running around. There are still the Shilkas that are active, so I don't want to go across the centre of the island. So instead decide to go around the island. So pop back into the pilot seat to start flying. And as I do here, we see my wingman, who is just in a low hover, not doing anything. He fires a grand total of one rifle the entire session, and then just sits there. So, 10 out of 10, absolutely brilliant. As I'm moving around, I do get too close to one of these little BTR patrols and they do start firing at me, so I have to go evasive, not really giving myself enough distance, but I do manage to dodge that in the end, so continue on my way, wrapping around the far side of the island. 
So, as I'm just starting to get within range here, finally, for some reason, the wingman decides he wants to rejoin formation, and then the uh, player character says it's time to RTB, despite the mission not being done. We do get told we can go back now if we want to, but looking at the very, very much alive site, I decide, well, I may as well push my luck and go in. Uh, at this point I've largely been missing everything because of the weird radar missiles, not in a particularly great state with this mission, so I decide just to start shelling around. Unfortunately my co-pilot gunner here doesn't seem to be doing an overly good job at actually hitting target. I'm getting shot at as well, which I really should have paid a lot more attention to. I should have moved over to whatever's shooting me as my primary target. Instead, I just do my best to stay evasive here. And really playing with uh, playing with fire here. This thing is very angry at me. And it's only going to be a matter of time before it does actually hit. Do you decide here that, okay, I should start looking at a new target. Unfortunately, it's too late. Shot comes in, takes off the tail, and down I go. Um, but I am just going to leave that there. As I said, I did multiple attempts at this mission. I know that I could very probably do this if I once again change the loadout to be all laser missiles, which is what it says in the original briefing in the documentation. It's definitely meant to be that. They've clearly gone and put in these radar missiles after the fact. And as I said, I don't think they did enough testing here. Uh, just as with the previous uh, mission a few episodes back, uh, the radar missiles just aren't suited for the kind of maps that they've got here. At least not without the fire control radar equipped. So yeah, not the best, but I am just continuing. Normally I would make sure I actually properly completed, but I'm not invested enough in this campaign. It's been a little bit of an uphill battle so far, so just going to move on. Next week we'll move on to the next mission. I anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.